Hello out there. This is DZ, your overlord Deseran, and welcome back to the Witch and the Hundred Knight. <laughs> uh, now, okay, let's go to Mount Asbrocken. Where the hell are we going? On it, I should say. Uh, probably the top, I guess. Probably? But we'll look. Hoping it's at the top. Fingers crossed. Ooh, there's a chest down there. I'd remember to pick that up later if possible. Oh, and one there too. Well, holy crap. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's a problem. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. There's all kinds of crap around here. Whoa. I'm sorry, screw you. Thank you. God damn. I'm putting it in HP. Mm. Thank you. Whew. There. That part's fine. That is fine. Okay. Now. Let's see if they're at the top. That'd be my guess. Yep. Looks like it. Hello? Oh, there she is. The patchwork witch. And you are? <laughs> I see how it is. This pattern is common enough, but this one feels slightly different than usual. Huh? Mm -hmm. What's she mumbling about? Nice to meet you, Hundred Knight. And you as well. Swamp Witch Metallia. me out like that. Just who are you? Well, talking to you here like this hasn't happened before. But I know you well. For example, you caused quite a scene at the Walpurgis party that one time. And on the summit of Mount Asbrocken, there will eventually be a showdown. If I die, it's said that a distortion will appear in my place. It looks as though you are aware mm. of this. You understand how this particular world works. So, you also know? Is that what you mean? Just what the hell are you? I am the Pumpkin Witch Ryubins, the one who records the world. Talking about. Well, I write down the possibilities of the infinite parallel worlds as my sole responsibility. All of them? Oh. Is that even possible? Are you not doing something that many would consider impossible right now? Parallel worlds generally exist apart from one another. 
and you can only see people from your own world. But in extremely rare cases, someone is born who can peer into the other worlds. In a similar world, similar events occur, so some categorize such people as fortune tellers or prognosticators. In the world you come from, such people are called astrologists. The Wait. are normal faux fortune tellers, but sometimes you will find an authentic one. Lucini. Are you trying to say that you're one of the special ones who can see the other worlds? I might be. Also, an existence like mine is considered incredibly precious. After all, I've existed from an era even before Great Witch Uruka. My body is worn out and ragged. I am forcefully patched together so I can keep using it. My body shriveled into nothing ages ago, and my soul is growing worn as well. You could say I'm a type of ghost. I get what you're saying. Let me rephrase it for you. Kill me, please. Exactly. I expected as much from you. However, Everything is predetermined. I know how this ends. Indulge me. I cannot. If I tell anyone, it ruins the whole predetermined aspect. I am the Purple Peel Clan's treasure. I am inherited from generation to generation. Hmm. I've lived for longer than I care to count. Only to record the histories of these parallel worlds. Natalia. Release me. What is the meaning of this, Reubens? You didn't I tell you not to pick up any stray pets? Yes. Although a magic being with a witch inside it might be a rare treasure. Huh? All the Walpurgis witches are eavesdropping on each other? I'm interested in who you are. But since you learned about Ryubins' existence, I'm afraid you'll have to die. I'll just have Ryubins show me all the records about you later. Ryubins, go home! I refuse. Huh? Don't get carried away, you damn doll! You will bow to our clan's every command. You will obey. You will grovel. And only wow. then are you given permission to continue living. I don't want that permission. What? I will die here and end everything. I will become free. Oh, not true, I'm afraid. Not even death can free you. No matter how many times you off yourself, we will fix you with our clan secret spell. Accept it, Reubens. You will serve our clan for all of eternity. I'll bring Damn. you back using force if I must. Natalia, kill me. <laughs> I thought we could create a distortion if we screwed with their relationship. But it's plenty screwed already, huh? <laughs> sure, I'll kill. 
just like you told me to. Starting with this old hag. Ha! Don't get so cocky, you fool. Lavi, defeat this witch! Oh, she's already okay, left. Lobby? Where did you go? <laughs> Your apprentice skipped off already. I finally finished my job for today, so I'm gonna go have tea with the other apprentices now, is what she said. What? That damn brat! What's the matter, Dust Witch? Why are you hesitating? Too scared without your apprentice? The little girl who's stronger than you? Yeah. Don't think too lowly of my skills, you nameless witch. My name is Metallia. Let's go, Hundred Knight. Snap all her bones in half. Well, this should get interesting. Okay. Let's see how well Casario works here. Oh, no, you don't. I wish I could see a bit better. Eh. Oh shit. Back nab. Oh no, you don't. Oh well, okay, apparently, yes, you do. What the? Where is that coming from? God damn. Oh well, that was a waste. Yeah, I'll let Casario do the work. God damn it. Oh. Oh, that's where it's coming from. She's firing it when she does that move. Oh, no, 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 no. Can't let myself get too low yet. Oh, well. That was a waste. That worked, though. How do you like that? Huh? 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 Go down. Whoop. Boom. Goodbye. Piece of cake. Nice. Hmm. Not bad in the experience points, but not great. Middling. So to speak. Damn it! Losing to someone like you. Hmm. Not 
too shabby, Hundred Knight. But as always, you can't pull the trigger. She's still alive. Shit! Not here. Not a place like this. I won't lose! <laughs> How stubborn. Deal the final blow, Hundred Knight! Hold up! What? The Witch Angel of Justice, Lavi, has arrived. Let down! <laughs> Lavi, such good timing. Hurry and get rid of these heathens. Uh oh. What are you just standing there for? Hurry it up! Or when we get home, it's time for a magic spanking. Uh oh. Yep. What are you doing? So freaking annoying! Stop talking so big when you're so weak! Annoying! 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 Pisses me off! Oh. Wow, okay. St stop! Lobby! Please, stop! Okay, I need to take the break here, but we'll be right back. What the hell? All right, we're back, and it looks like every bloody witch has a messed up relationship of some kind. Okay. Help! Please! Mercy! Remember when you were little? I bought you that one toy. And I was the one who taught you magic. All those fun memories together. Have you forgotten them? Fun? Are you stupid or something? All I ever felt was pain. I was always forced to do things I didn't want to do. Getting scolded, given a curfew, not getting my allowance. And you're so cocky! Making me call you master when you're so much weaker than me! What a joke, you damn hag! Purple Peel mumbles something inaudible and then stops moving. Lavi turns to stone, an expression of fear and regret chiseled into her face. Hmm. A spell that turns whoever kills you into a statue. Something only a weakling would come up with to avenge their own death. You hear the sound of the world tumbling in further into chaos. Your karma increases by 50. 
Please continue. When I die, the distortion will appear. So... <laughs> Don't make me laugh. If you order me to kill you, that goes against my notion of living a completely free life. And a third-rate nothing like you might not realize it, but... All you have to do is leave this place for the distortion to appear. <laughs> so if you want to die, go and die. Don't force someone to dirty their own hands. Freedom only has meaning if you're alive. Didn't you want to be free? Such insanity. As I thought, it's appeared. All right, Hundred Knight, we're leaving. One more step toward this world's collapse. Oh, okay. Boss fight number two. Whoa, okay. Eh. God damn it. Wasted that. Ooh. Oh shit. No, no, no. Not now. Whew. That was close. Eh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, there we go. There we go. Whew. Okay, that was slightly in a way. Purple peel and Lavi's distortion clear. So there's gonna be what? One for each witch? Oh. Nice. Okay. Huh? You. Metalia, your pace leaves something to be desired. Can you not hurry it up a bit? Huh. <laughs> What's this? Right when I thought you'd show yourself, you're going to pretend to advise me as a fallen soldier? Hm. <laughs> Shut up, I know that already. Hey, Hundred Knight, your pace leaves something to be desired. Can you not hurry it up a bit? <laughs> what? Okay. Wow. Thanks. Putting the blame on me. Okay, we're gonna go back and save immediately, because again, the game's been a little screwy. Oof. <coughs> Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, let's save. Now, before... 
I'm going to be calling it an episode soon, but before that, let's at least check in on Belda. See if maybe our karma is high enough now. What is our karma at, anyway? 536. Okay, it's getting up there. Wonder how much we need. Alright, where was it? Here? Downtown Amatai. Here we go. Okay. Let's try this again. <clears> hmm. <throat> Hey, Belda. Belda. Heinz? Is that you, Heinz? No. Oh. Oh. Nobody's there. Maybe I'm just hearing things. Heinz. Ever since you became Lord Damu's adopted child, you've been busy studying and taking classes. Although, I'm very happy that Lord Damu is taking a liking to him. I shouldn't interrupt his happy life right now. Huh. I started to focus more on the last time I saw Heinz, rather than look forward to the next time I'll get to see him. Maybe I should stop making so many sweets. There's so much. I could never eat it all. If I knew this would happen, I wouldn't have suggested he join the church choir. The distortion huh. hasn't manifested yet, but I get the feeling it will soon. Wait, do we have to... What are you saying we... It's changed every time. Well, I don't want to get sucked into something. Hey, Hundred Knight. I sense the distortion. Oh. It's close. I think it's about time for it to appear. Keep your eyes peeled. Goodbye, my small house. Starting tomorrow, I'm the court witch. I really get to be the court witch. So weird. Even though it's time to leave, it's hard to shut this house's door. Maybe I've gotten attached to it. Magic letter weaves through the residences until it smacks against Belda's door. Oh, what's this? What? Heinz is... 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 engaged? L lies! No way this is true! Uh -oh. Our beautiful life together was just about to begin! Who, who is the harlot stealing him away? The second... Princess Viscal. What? How could this happen? Why? Why isn't it me? Is it because she's a princess? Because she's young and beautiful? I won't forgive this. I definitely won't let this happen. Uh oh. But how? <laughs> I know. This is I why she got cursed. Him. I'll make her ugly. Turn her into something ugly. If your partner isn't even human, there's no way you can be engaged. Yeah. I know. Wait for me, Lord Heinz. I'll prepare everything right away. <laughs> hmm. 
You hear the sound of the world tumbling further into chaos. Your karma increases by 30. What? But I didn't do anything. Oh. Damn long time. Stupid melodrama bullshit. Go, Hundred Knight. Put on a real drama. A drama involving their worst nightmare. Get rid of anything in our way and punch a hole in that distortion. Oh. I, uh, fine. Fair enough. Fine by me. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Okay, you dick. Uh, ow. Okay, that worked. Oh, well, shit. I was hoping to get a bit more damage in than that, but okay. Fine. There we go. There we go, and down. Alright. Two distortions in one video. Belda's distortion clear. Alright, let's... Full hell, let's get back to base and call this an episode then. Holy crap. And... There we go. Nice. Hello, Leah. How's the seasoning? What? Huh? Seasoning? Wait, what? There's no seasoning at all, doofus. Whoa. No salt, no sugar, and no meat either. There's not enough of anything. I want meat. Give me meat, shit director. Even if you say such things to me, you cannot eat more than what is allotted. Stupid. If I keep eating this garbage hospital food, I'm gonna get even more sick. Meat! Chicken, cow, pig, fish! I want a full tummy of good food! <laughs> it's great to see you so full of energy. I'll check on you again in a little while. Oh boy. Director turns and leaves the room. Jerk. He ran away again. Where the hell are we? What do you think, Arlecchino the third? The doll she calls Arlecchino the third silently stares at nothing as dolls are wont to do. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll take a break real quick and then we'll be back in a second. Alright, we're back again, and I'm hoping this won't take long. Oh, I see. <clears throat> They're being huge meanies? Well, yeah! Someday, I'll break their arms and cut off their legs at the knees, so they have no choice but to always bow down to me. Then, I'll appoint you as my right-hand man. Whatever. Oh, boy. I guess I'll read a book. Ugh. I forgot I already read everything. Should have asked Shit Director to go and buy me some new books. Time to call in my most obedient minion. The nurse! 
As Leah stretches to reach the nurse call button, she hears the voices of some nurses outside of her room somewhere. Oops. The director was kicked out again. That child is so stuck up because he bends to her every beck and call. But she won't be able to leave the hospital for the rest of her life. She surpassed her life expectancy a long while ago. It's so sad. <laughs> Suits her just fine. She acts like an arrogant snob just because her parents are rich. Life isn't so easy that everything will go the way you want if you scream loud enough. Hush. Keep your voice down. Maybe... I can wait until next time before I ask for new books. As she says this, Leah hugs her doll, Arlecchino III, tightly against her chest, and whispers to it. Nothing goes the way you want. Isn't that right, Arlecchino III? You're so mean. Hmm. Whoa. Sound just picked up. Oh. Okay. Back to the house. Okay, so that's four distortions down. Three to go. Now where to look for them, I'm not sure. I'm probably going to have to search around a bit. Again. I'm surprised there wasn't anything, like, considering the people that I've had to deal with so far, I'm surprised there wasn't anything at Lucini's town. Um, I'm trying to think, where would I find the other witches? Uh, I'm not sure. Alright, well, I'll look into it. I'll take some time and actually look around a bit, see if I can find anything. Either way, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below. And in the next part, well, we'll go back to distortion hunting, because we have three more to find. And then we'll see what happens. See if we can fix the world, so to speak. Until then, though, this is DZ, your overlord, Desiran. You all have a great day, and I'll see ya. <laughs> <laughs>